So, The Wheel of Time, season one, <coughs> episode one. You go back, you give them a way to follow us. I can't allow that. Crossing that river would be foolish, and you are not a fool. Come on, do you really think she's any better than what's chasing us? Of course I do. Till then, though. The lady does shoot fireball, so let's try and stay on her good side, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and off this, we smash to black at the end of the episode. Welcome to Talk Around Riyadh, the Wheel of Time showcast. I am your host, Joe Perry, here with my co-hosts, Jen Isgro and Tom Kakoza. How are you doing tonight, Jen? I am doing great. I'm so excited for tonight. So happy that we could go live with this great news. And I'm just excited about the show. And how are you doing tonight, Tom? Uh, tonight's a rap party, Joe, so I'm planning on getting hammered live on, on, on video. <laughs> That's right. It's a season one rap party. Finally. Yay. It feels weird to say that. Yeah, we have with us special guests. Special In guests. You may know him as the innkeeper at the Dusty Wheel, Matt Hatch. How are you doing tonight, Matt? Awesome. Awesome. I'm not hosting. I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> You're not hosting. <laughs> Don't, you might get confused a little bit, but that's okay. We'll forget. <laughs> and exactly. then we have with us Sarah from WattSeries.com, who broke this amazingly great news. How are you doing tonight, Sarah? Hello, hello. I'm doing pretty good. How about everyone else? I think everybody's good. Probably oh, good. Yeah. I think we're all doing good. I think this is an exciting yeah. moment and a good time to get excited. <laughs> it's so, a good time. Yeah, so let's just get right into it, right? So earlier today, WattSeries.com reported that principal photography has wrapped. Uh, I'm going to quote Sarah, who wrote the article, so <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best Sarah impersonation. No. Um, they spotted several <laughs> social media posts of key crew members celebrating the completion of the first season, um, but you also received further information indicating that there may be some filming remaining, such as reshoots or pickups. So, Sarah, can you tell us a little bit, is there anything else you can add to this that you haven't already put to paper? Um, not really. Also, first, I would like to point out that Geeky Ari wrote about half of this okay. because <laughs> I was not super coherent this morning. So she very graciously helped me uh, fix a lot of things. But, um, yeah, no, that's really what we know. Um, the posts that we saw were, I'll just say they're from very key departments that would be involved in the production and they were very clear that they were celebrating finishing specifically wheel of time season one awesome so i don't really know how else to take that um but like i said we did you know get a little bit of information indicating that there might be a few things left to film which is apparently normal for this type of production with you know cast scheduling conflicts and things like that so you know I don't know how much more that's going to be, but hopefully not too much. I'm just going to pretend that it's done. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's what we're doing right now. That's the whole point of the show, right? For all intents and purposes, I think it's, it's, it's done. <laughs> Yeah, we're waiting for a final official word. But yeah, this is a... What's weird is I didn't know how to react to this. As in, I think we all anticipated it for so long. <laughs> that, and it was so delayed that it, it happened. And it was like, oh yeah, that had to happen at some point. And... <laughs> And yeah, it's, it's weird. I don't know how you all feeling, but I, I had this delayed excitement because I feel like I had the excitement for the entire year since yeah. when we thought this was going to end in the first place. And now it's here like a year later and we're like, yes. That's right. A whole, <laughs> a whole year behind schedule, right? It was supposed to end yeah. in May of last year. Um, okay. It's funny too, because somebody in Discord was asking about like when filming. I was like, filming should be done literally like any minute. <laughs> and then, I think I said that like yesterday or two days ago and then we got this news. So um Tom. so what do we think uh, oh sorry i was gonna say what do you what do you think is gonna happen uh, as far as getting a release date then that was gonna be my next question so i guess i'll ask you tom <laughs> release date trailer oh. what, what do you think this means for that so um you know i do think that we're gonna see a trailer relatively soon i don't know exactly when i know some people are hoping before the end of may i think that's a little i think it's a little early but i think we'll see some we'll, we might see something before summer officially starts. Um, release date, that's tough. I mean, they've done a lot of the pre-production, you know, post-production work on the first six episodes already, so it's just getting these things kind of wrapped. But, like, I imagine there's going to be a lot of uh, post-production work. So 
I still don't think we're going to see anything before the, the, the late fall. I, I just don't think that that's, I mean, if it's before October, I'd be surprised. Wow. Jen. You don't think we're going to see a trailer until fall? No, no, no the show, the show. Okay. The show. Okay. I, I think we're going to see a trailer, okay. I think we're gonna a trailer before right. June 21st. Okay. Um, I agree. I think we're going to get the trailer relatively soon. Cause I'm sure they've been working on it. And they just have to kind of edit in whatever is from these last two episodes they want to put in. Um, yeah, I think fall is a good estimate for the show, too. And I feel like it's both far away and not like it's going to be here before we know it. And like, I can't even imagine sitting down to watch the show. There's so much build up. It's just I, I'm I don't know. Like, I can't like Matt just said, like. We can't believe that season one is finished filming. I can't believe that literally we're going to have a television show to watch. Like, this is happening. Yeah, like I still year. can't believe it. When we sit down to watch it, I feel like it's going to be this moment that I can't even. I'm going to, like, cry when I before it even starts. <laughs> I, I I could cry right now. There's, I've never I've never had this much anticipation for, like, a piece of entertainment I am gonna before. Be absolute emotional wreck <laughs> when the trailer airs I'm i think the trailer just... i know that too we should all I'm post gonna... like selfies of ourselves with like tears running down <laughs> our faces i'm gonna be in the midst of a 10-hour live stream apparently yeah that's right yeah. we'll just be crying on the live yes. people will just be crying oh weeping on the live yeah. stream. there needs to be tears in the live stream everyone prep that you need to be working on that okay yeah that's a good all question right. jen like i'm trying to think if there was anything more like and i'm not talking obviously I'm not talking about like you know getting married or having kids or anything like that but, no but like things that like so like anticipated what? this much in my life you um, think that you think getting married or having kids matches the anticipation for this show <laughs> I, well i guess I'm, i guess i was engaged a little bit longer than we've been waiting <laughs> i guess but no it's I could the only other thing I could think of is like when the Lord of the Rings came out, the movies, I was like, that was so hyped and psyched for that. Like I had been waiting for that for a long time, but I can't think of anything else. Well, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm hoping I feel like that. Like my son, when he was born, I was like, he's damn cute. I'm kind of hoping <laughs> I say that the same way. I'm hoping, like when the, when the show was born, it's like, yeah, this is damn good, good job. job. <laughs> well done. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. The Lord of the Rings, I, I I was really psyched for, but like other than like casting news, like I wasn't really, I think, uh, invested in the production of that. Like I wasn't, wow. there wasn't like the level of intensity that the level of intensity that we've done for this show. It's, I haven't matched at all. When I'll say this, when the first, when the first Avengers movie came out, like you could tell, like I'm a huge fan of of of, of, of the MCU and stuff. When the first Avengers movie came out, I was pretty emotional, like. The fact that like that was like a childhood like thing that was like imagined that was actually happening. Mm -hmm. But like I think I think Jen's I I think I'm gonna like just get choked up before like the yeah. show starts. Like when like we're pressing the button to play. Yeah. Like, <laughs> intro credits come on and like the what are the, the intro theme yeah. or like, oh my god. Like, when I go to like when I go to Amazon Prime and I'm like you know when I go to like the, the fire stick when you see and like, like the this shows up oh my god yeah I think I should just start then yeah and you read like the description like I'd be sitting there I would just be like examining the thumbnail for about ten minutes <laughs> then like reading the description of the of the episode and just like kind of reading it a few times before I press I'd be like oh no god. wait honey to tell them my wife yeah. we can't press play yet I have to I have to save for this moment. <laughs> I don't like, know if I'm able to savor it. Like I feel like as soon as yeah. it goes, I'm gonna be like examining it. Like I, I don't know if I can savor. You the have to savor the first watching. The first. I, I'll watching, try. I'll try. You, yeah. Then you can dig into it. Yeah, the first time I see it, I'm just gonna be like a wreck, and then I watch it again after the first. The first viewing is just like a, you know, you're gonna be up here, and then you can calm down, and then yeah. really watch it the second time and the third. I mean, I I'm one of those people that like cries over anything and i've gotten emotional <laughs> over trailers i don't even really care about that much yeah. so i don't you know oops i accidentally pressed the button by accident go ahead sorry are we all still live yes we're still live <laughs> okay, <worry>. good. <laughs> everyone's gone <laughs> like uh what <laughs> Um, so so just to add on to this too so earlier this week sarah whatseries.com had tweeted out um, there was unconfirmed information, though, that season two um, was going to run. Filming was supposed to start 
in June and run till March of 2022. So basically, we all a lot of people have been talking about that, speculating that since there was such a delay, like right after they finished season one, they'd run into season two. Um, any any confirmation on this at all, or it's still unconfirmed? Um, yeah, it's still unconfirmed. It was we basically found like a sort of job posting type thing that looked very much like it was for Wheel of Time. Um, I mean, I think based on the schedule that we already know about and, you know, how long season one was supposed to film, I mm -hmm. think it adds up. So I I think it's probably right. But again, no, it's not not confirmed, as are many of the things that we post. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think we'll have a shorter turnaround time then? Like, will we have to wait a whole year, you think, before from season one to season two? I'd probably guess that there's going to be kind of a, a year is kind of a standard gap between seasons. So I wouldn't be surprised if we, you know, if we see season one at the end of this year and season two at the end of next year, assuming there's not another pandemic. Oh, knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> yes, knock on wood. <laughs> well, what's, what's funny is doesn't didn't news was was it news you released uh, through Watt series? The idea that yeah, season two was going to end, or the idea was they could end uh, filming that in like March or something of 2022. Uh, so, if that's the case, then yeah, you would think they could release it that fall, and maybe we'll get a little bit earlier. I could imagine like a later fall uh, release this year, but a little bit earlier fall release for season two potentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really curious to see if we ever get any information on what the planned schedule was for season one before the pandemic happened you know were they gonna release it i'm sure and it's 2020 beginning yeah. of 2021 i don't know i'm really curious i'm sure down the road we'll hear that like we'll, rafe will say like oh we intended to release the show on this the first season on this time <laughs> i think once it's released and done with i think i don't think there's really any harm in yeah. really you know yeah. revealing that so we'll probably yeah. hear that maybe in, if they do a behind the scenes we'll uh we'll hear something yeah, yeah no, I'm really, scenes, really cool. I'm really excited for the behind the scenes stuff, yeah. especially just to kind of hear about all the stuff they had to go through extra yeah. because of all the shutdowns and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So I feel like yeah. we've already had a lot of behind the scenes stuff, like not not released by them, but yeah. <laughs> just by Nara, we're doing our own behind the scenes. <laughs> you guys releasing a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> I almost feel like we've got a bit of a behind the scenes, but it'll be great to hear hear the actors and the crew members and Rafe and everybody talking about it. That's that's what we need to do is we need to do our own behind the scenes from the fans perspective <laughs> someday. <laughs> it was like doing all this content creation. I'm sure we have some fun yeah. stuff to talk about. Oh, wow. About. That's true. Yeah. We can get, some... I mean, our, our behind the scenes would basically just be scrolling through social media and Google until we go blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's it. I think people want to see that though. <laughs> want to come watch us go blind on camera check it out I'll do it I, I would say you know during the uh i guess it would be like well like we would say like last fall joe was like our absolute like what are we gonna be doing for content moment yeah. like yeah. when <laughs> like we were just like it would be like i would start probably around tuesday or wednesday and it would just be like three days of us like well we gotta do something <laughs> Let's figure out a topic because there's nothing. Hens, let's talk about chickens. Yes, chickens. Oh, the chicken. <laughs> thank God for those chickens. Oh, yes, thank God for those chickens. So, so I, have, I have a question then. Uh, do you think that the cast and crew, once the filming is over, will be more available to talk about the series? Or do you think it's still going to be like a moratorium until like – the first episode released in other words like how do you what do you think is going to happen between now and when we get the first episode of season one i think it'll be very close to the release date i think like they're gonna have to promote you know, yeah. they promote and i think that we might be able to get we, we might be able to get interviews with 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 casting crew I, I but like it would probably be like two to three weeks before the show's released like that's normally what you see in general for 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 tv shows or or, or movies or things like that like uh, they want it to be close enough to the premiere date that it generates buzz. So I don't think we're going to get anything. True. I, I would love to, but I don't think we're going to get anything like, uh, yet. Also, they're all going to be busy because they're all going to be, apparently they're going to get a couple of weeks off and then they're going to go back to filming. So, oh, good, point. good point. Yeah, yeah. that's a uh, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> now there will be, 
there should be time like built into the filming schedule to do all that press and all that stuff. But like, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I feel like, Matt, you've got a good shot to get like, you know, name, name talent. I feel like we got a decent shot to get one name. Well, I got I, you have you, you have Jennifer a... Channel Garcia. What are you talking <laughs> yeah. about? I, haven't had yeah, a... <laughs> I feel like I feel like you I, I feel like you can get Rafe on your show. Like, I think that is a a a a, a realistic interview for you. Like Rafe, that, if I you're think watching. That we, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, you can come on our show too, please. We'd love to have you. I just, <laughs> I feel like you know. And we're not live, so you know, you don't have to worry about. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> wow! So it begins, Joe. Huh? So it begins. So that's, like, <laughs> that's the only benefit I can see I, that we have is that it's not live, so that way they don't have to worry about. Rafe, it doesn't have and... to be live. Yeah. <laughs> that's also true. Pre-recorded interview, Matt. It'll be yes. our first pre-recorded interview. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That was awesome. Oh, oh so boy. good. <laughs> oh, I, just... I love, by the way, I love, I love the burrito and the drinking that yeah. this has got going on over here. Really good. Well, we, <laughs> it's a rap really, party. We're, Show us your rap. rap party. I just, I I just got off work like half an hour ago. Give me a break. Yeah. I know. I love it. I love it. Like we're totally chill. This is awesome. It's also, here's the other burrito party. for yeah. anyone who wanted to see it. Here it is. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm impressed with the two burrito meal. That's in and of itself. I had pizza, no wraps today. Sorry. <laughs> um, um, there's a couple of pieces of news that I did want to talk about that I'd like to sprinkle in here. And I know Jen, you had a uh, something from the What's Happening uh, area, some social media. I did. I'll read it, and then Joe, you could explain it because I actually don't know what it means. It's um, <laughs> so Alan Mendragoran. Malkir's King on Twitter posted um, after, okay, minor spoilers. I, I don't know if these spoilers for Money Heist, maybe. It's not, it's not spoilers that they sing okay. a song in Money Heist. So. Okay, he says, after watching La Casa de Papel, Money Heist, I now fully expect Rafe Judkins to have Alvaro Morte Loghain sing Bella Ciao after he is captured, before he is gentled, even if he has to do a quick rewrite and a reshoot to make it happen. And Alvaro actually quote tweeted him and wrote of course i sang it it's just that i don't know if it's going to be omitted in the editing process so i thought that was awesome <laughs> Wait, that he it, actually you forgot what? to say there was, a, and a, there wink. was a wink it was a wink that was a wink it wasn't a blink it was a wink, <laughs> was a wink. <laughs> but i thought that was awesome that he responded um yeah, that was really cool. and that was very cool i just have no idea what it means i guess he sings a song on money heist yeah and, they sing a song yeah i mean uh in the third season fourth okay. i can't remember which season it is it comes up oh in my a couple god seasons Ruined. I, Ruined. I spoiled it. Sarah just started Ruined. watching the show, right? You just spoiled started watching it. All right, so I won't. <laughs> oh, no. All right, well, I'll stop them because I was going to ask some follow-up questions about why they sing the song, but I won't because I don't want you to answer them. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I can't really tell. It's something. It's a, <laughs> I, yeah, I have an idea. I can't say it. It'll kind of spoil it a little bit. It does All spoil right. it a little bit, so I won't say why. Is it like... You don't have to tell me, but is it any at all related to like what when he said he would be singing it? Like, no, he doesn't want to spoil it. In no. Wheel of Time. No, it has no. nothing to do with Wheel of Time whatsoever. No, all right, whatever. There's nothing yeah, yeah. that relates to Wheel of Time except that it's uh, Alvaro Morte. A song, okay. Um, but yeah, yeah I think the minor cool. spoilers were more in in line with the fact that you know Logan is captured and gentled, and yeah. like if you haven't, if if you're following. Uh, that Twitter account, but haven't finished reading the first book yet. Um, you may not know that he's captured. Oh, okay, I get so, it. Yeah, right. I don't um, even. I don't even see spoilers well, I, you anymore. You find that he's captured like very early on in the first book. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. He's not <laughs> gentle yeah, in the first that, book. That's no. probably going to be a big deal in season one. Like the fact that he's captured and gentled, much Who, bigger uh, than, than it is yeah. in in yeah, the book. Yeah, Sarah, Matt, do you think we're going to see him gentled on screen? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I, would, I, would, I mean, why would they avoid that? I mean, yeah. it's such you you want to connect that to Rand if you could, and you would you would you would want that to be a visceral experience for the viewers. Um, I think, in other words, I think you would use that as a very dramatic moment in the series. And again, for season one, let's be honest, you read the book. There's not really like 
huge moments. I mean, there's fun moments, right? Of book one. And then you have at the end, which most people don't even understand what happens at the end. <laughs> I mean, to me, you get like, uh, so I think that's something that them bringing into the show would make sense. Uh, if you have Alvaro Morte there and he's playing the spot, like why would you not make that choice? So, yeah, I think. Yeah, would. I mean, to me, if you're a TV writer, you know, you're always looking for ways to show, not tell, you know, and in the books, we kind of hear a lot about, you know, male channelers are scary and male channelers should be scared of Aes Sedai because they're going to hunt you down and gentle you and all that kind of thing. But we don't really see that, especially early on. So I think establishing that right off the bat with the Logan kind of B plot, if you will, is a very smart idea. Um, yeah. Not up. just for world building, but just for making us scared shitless for Rand. <laughs> so, so follow up question: Do you think Rand sees Loghain being gentled? Do you think it's like a public? Jen, Jen's raising her hand. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yep. Uh, yeah, Jen, Jen's on her. That's my Tarvalon scene. Oh, so I'm you're just saying... thinking about that. Yeah, I've... he's there, and then he sees Possibly. it. Yes, definitely. So you think it's like a public event? Mm-hmm. And I actually wow. think it'll be so cool to see it because, like. It's probably going to be this whole big ceremony and then like nothing happens that we could see, you know, like I wonder it's just like a, you know, they just do it and it's like they cut him off, but it's not like they touch him or hurt him. And so it's almost like he's just standing there and then he feels it. So I'd love to see his reaction. You know what I mean? They it's not show, like they could show hurting like the one physically. power and the flow. They could, from, like, I the guess. I die into him and then like him, like, you know, whatever, like say he's glowing and then all of a sudden I guess. he winks out or something. I almost like think it'd be cooler to like, not see it and just see him like react, you know. I don't know. Weird. I don't want to. I want like if I'm brand watching it, you know what I mean. I don't know. Yeah. You want to see the power, right, Matt? If they do something like that. Well, I want to see it in the tower. Like I want to see. Like to me, that's a much more. I thought I was like, say in like a courtyard, was, like an outdoor courtyard or something. Yeah. There was that tweet that Rafe did, or not tweet, Instagram post that Rafe did around International Women's Day mm -hmm. in 2020. Um, and something about how they just filmed a scene with 30 actresses and mm. it was in episode six, which is the flame of Tarvalin. And, um, and then Kate Fleetwood posted in the comments, like indicating that she had been part of it. So it seems pretty reasonable to assume it involved Aes Sedai. Mm. And, you know, if you kind of do the math, if they were, you know, in the hall of the tower and you have, you know, three sitters for the seven Ajas and you kind of extrapolate that out, you could actually get, I think it was 29, or something I Sedai. So I'm just my my theory is that that was referencing the Logan gentling because Alvaro Marte was also on set at that point. Um, so that I think sense. we're going to see it. I just don't know. You know, maybe it will be public. Maybe it won't be. But I just think it would be silly to not show it. Honestly, I agree. I agree. It'll be interesting if Rand witnesses it. Oh, that'd be definitely interesting. It adds yeah, that's a an interesting layer question. Of, uh, suspense and. And if not Rand, I mean, it could be kind of cool if maybe somehow, I don't know if like Nynaeve and Egwene would go into the tower mm -hmm. for some reason. Yeah. And maybe like, especially if Nynaeve witnessed it, that could be an interesting Ooh. setup for later events. I'm getting chills. I don't know if I can talk about, <laughs> I don't know if we're doing full spoilers or not, but... Yeah. You guys aren't you guys aren't real fans because you're suggesting they do things that aren't in the books. <laughs> I'm uh, yeah. I never. I didn't say this in the beginning. Do it, but everyone. This we are a spoiler fill uh, podcast, so beware of spoilers. So we've been pretty good though so far, but um, I guess I would just say let's warn people if we're about to get into spoilers. Yeah, Joe will inevitably talk about something that happens in the final. Yeah, book. I'm gonna probably pour myself a beer, so that'll probably get me more into the spoiler <laughs> mode. So. Um, <laughs> Um, nice. So, all right. So I've got some news here that I wanted to get into. Um, so this is another piece of news from WattSeries.com. Thank you, Sarah. Um, <laughs> so you guys found a post on a website called Recapped.com, which when I first saw it, I thought it was like, I thought uh, like Wheel, Wheel Talk and Recapa had started their own <laughs> website at first, um, but it's not. Although it, it's no. a website, it's a website um, that apparently is dedicated to celebrity nudity reviews and videos related. Um, so interesting. <laughs> Is the Orlando um, Bloom picture on there? I don't know. I didn't see it. <laughs> uh, it's only it's only female celebrities, so oh. sorry. Uh, okay, so Weak. this is uh, Weak. Okay. uninterested. <laughs> but there was there was information posted about the Wheel of Time, and I know Matt, you covered it on your show on Wednesday. Um, so I'll just read the post. So they're currently casting for season two of Wheel of Time. 
looking for a young actress to play a princess and future queen. Also seems like they plan for this to be a long-running series since they're asking for a lot of option years for this role. Hmm. Does anybody have any ideas who they could be talking about? <laughs> Berlin. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's got to be Tuan, obviously. Fail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did yeah. actually see those suggestions thrown out, like people mm-hmm. that really, really want Elaine to be in season one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I I'm think sorry. that shit just failed. <laughs> it's not, it's so not nice. happening. Well, she's I mean, not in it. She's not in season one, but this is confirmation that she's yeah, in the show. Her. Yeah, yeah. Right? I don't think yeah. there's any doubt that this is. Yeah, um, yeah, I think Rafe said pretty definitively that she was in the show. Just you know. Yep. So, um, oh, that's true. So yeah, right. I think. So I think I, I think people don't have to worry that she's not in season two. It looks like she will be. Uh, Joe Joe disappeared. Uh, I was just grabbing a drink. <laughs> That's gonna happen um, a couple of times. Yeah, so we still everyone still has an opportunity to fan cast and dream cast that role. See who, see who you want in it. I um, like yours, Tom. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I I don't know what she like. I don't know if that show's still on because I don't watch television really, uh, or current TV. But yeah, uh, what's your uh, Lily Reinhardt from from. Uh, Riverdale. So I think, wait, does exactly. this does this finally put like lay to rest that what's her face is not Elaine? Um, oh God, what's the yes, name? Helena yeah. Westerman. Helena, no, not Helena, Helena Westerman. Westerman. Not Helena Westerman. That too, but who was the one? Who? Oh, the Kate the Franz. friend. Kate Franz. Yeah. Yes, thanks, Sarah. Uh, yeah. Remember, people thought she was Elaine possibly because she was on That's set, right. but it's really just the guy. Her boyfriend is very good friends with Ray for something. Yeah. Like. <laughs> all the rumors that are getting crushed now <laughs> how does it feel everyone we're getting to the part where rumors get crushed yes. that means like, we're getting closer <laughs> right and it must bring back some good memories for you man uh back in the day uh yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> that's good though rumors getting crushed is means we're getting closer yeah right? that's what right. i mean that's we're getting, getting closer, closer to the truth so. there's always yeah, season two guys don't worry <laughs> yeah now watch it sarah you got to find out who this uh who this person's going to be who's playing elaine Keep got looking out for those uh, different yeah. scripts. Oh, no yeah. days so far. <laughs> we gotta get some. So I, I have to mention too. So something something else that about this post. So there's a lot of comments to this post, and if you scroll down, uh, one of the comments <laughs> by a user named B Jizzle, which is brilliant, uh, a- especially appropriate for, this for the site. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So B Jizzle <laughs> asked, um, "Is the intention for Wheel of Time to be Amazon's Game of Thrones?" Who's familiar with the source material? And then we got a very interesting response. Um, uh, somebody said, I've seen the first three episodes, albeit not final versions, and the only nudity, remember this is a website about nudity, the only nudity I recall is from one of the male leads getting into a bath with Rosamund Pike, who was already in the tub. Cue heads, cue heads exploding here. <laughs> who who's in, who's the naked man getting into a tub with Maureen? I'm mean, assuming this person isn't just making crap. Out <laughs> <laughs> assuming this person isn't making. I, I don't male know why nudity. Would... That's what they said. This yeah. she's in, so she's not nude. Ma- we're getting like full she's frontal already, male she's... nudity. No, it didn't say full frontal. Well, the, what? There's no what? But there's no other kind of male yeah, nudity. But, yes. Just ass. I said but. This is definitely <laughs> land ass. It's it has to be Daniel right. Henry. Who? What? None of the guys are gonna get in a bath with her. In like the second Plot episode, <laughs> yeah. Like, um, it has to be, yeah, it has to be Daniel Henney. Yeah, I mean, something to look forward to, women. You're gonna get to see Daniel Henney's ass, hopefully. At least, at least, very, at the very least. Or, or I'm Steve's gonna tell you, ass. I don't. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of a little hyped up about seeing his ass too. I'm gonna. <laughs> wow. Have another All beer, right. Joe. He's very, he's very <laughs> physically tell us how fit. You really feel. He's a very physically fit person. You just like a tight, a tight ass. That's all. Um, so, um, I'll say this, and I just I don't think if it is a butt shot I, to me, like that. That's not something that in today's day and age I describe as male nudity. To We're me, not like get that's, full that's what I mean. I think you're gonna get. In the I think, of time. Come on. <laughs> why not? This isn't actually Game of Thrones, right? <laughs> there wasn't a lot of even that in Game. A couple of times, right? Did we Game get of Thrones? It? We got like maybe once or twice. Yeah, I think we did. It was enough. I, I, I don't, whatever. It was enough for South Park to do a whole joke about how like, it's like it's all like, like unerect penises. Oh, yeah, show. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had a whole episode where that was like yes. a subplot. They, yes. they had like a chorus of men <laughs> yes. singing about it. 
Man, I, I feel like the, you know, land full frontal would give a whole new meaning to the golden crane <laughs> flies for Tarman Guide. I don't know nice. if I want this or not. On full Bravo, plot cast. Sarah, Bravo. <laughs> Maybe it's like a, another more. guy that's just because they're not going to do Daniel Henny full frontal nudity. Why do you? Why does it have to be full frontal, Jen? Because that's nudity. <laughs> that's nudity. Tom's right. Like no. a, an ass is no. not nudity. It is. It's yeah. A, it's a naked. It's butt. not. But everyone Look, but has we're, that. We're talking That's about whoever this person was that made a comment on a website. We don't know what his, we don't know what this person's uh, <laughs> referrals <laughs> are to nudity. And can you please comment and ask him? I don't even know if it was which right. kind of nudity probably, but... did you mean? Yeah, exactly. we need go to know. do it yourself. Go Jay, on the site. Jay, All right, I'm going to. Jay, Jay Dizzle, if you're listening to the show, can you please talk to your friend? <laughs> I don't know who the I don't and, have the name of the responder. Right, I didn't put that down. And because... find out exactly what level of male nudity <laughs> is. Uh... <laughs> no, because I'm saying if it's if it is full front, say it's full frontal. I don't think Daniel Eddy's going to do that. So it might it's be not. just like another guy in the inn, like just getting in. Just to like throw in a nudity or something with Moraine, yeah, just like just some random, into the top, just... like in the background, hey, like there's a bunch up? of people around, <laughs> just to make it like you know, people are like, oh, this is like Game of Thrones. Well, they said nudity. he's getting into the bath with Rosamund Pike. Who yeah, is... but maybe it's like a big, like communal. Cause why would it be like a small oh, bath and land like and Rosamund like Land and Moraine are taking a, a well, bath no, they together? They said the first three episodes. This person maybe it's like an inn or something. Episodes. I don't know when they would stop. Uh, well, they, like a they take baths would, in Bear Lawn, right? I know. Well, we're gonna get some Bear Land and Bear Lawn. Maybe it's like a like an outdoor, like a hot springs. I think that's a more interesting question. <laughs> I mean, now that we've covered this, which is where would this be? Like in the first three episodes, yeah, I don't, it, it could be I don't the first episode that, that it could be the, wi- the it could be the wine spring in. <laughs> they take a bath in Shade Arlo. The wine spring <laughs> in. Yeah, that would. Go, uh, in the, that would <laughs> I would I don't definitely think add yeah, like that. <laughs> episode one that would kick off with a bang. I That's mean, awesome. honestly, like in all seriousness, I do actually like the idea of having a very just straightforward, non-sexualized bath scene. So I think it could be an interesting way to just show that there's nothing between Lan and Maureen like that mm-hmm. at all. Exactly. That's true. That's exactly what I thought, Sarah. It's like because they're... people are going to always, you know think that right off the bat like oh there's got to be some yeah. sex think, thing going on with them and yep. I, I think they're, that's, I think a, that's they're a good exactly point right yeah i think they want to establish the relationship between land and maureen like right off the bat and say this is no they're not together that way but yeah i can't see that being in the wine spring in no i can't see i can't <laughs> see master alvier and uh mistress alvier approving of that so <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't have doors. to see it. It's not like they're going to be watching. That would really body. change. <laughs> that would really change. <laughs> I think our rap party is uh, <laughs> turned into a discussion. You and you and Miss honey. looking through the little peepholes yeah. and the thing. And the talking, <laughs> we're talking about how much Jen is hoping for some full frontal here or something. <laughs> hoping for it. I'm just saying. That's, say that... nudity. that's nudity. <laughs> that's Jack. Oh boy, that's interesting. Though. I, I don't see why this person would lie, and especially like on this website. Like, did you just say you don't know why a person on the internet would lie <laughs> on this website? And that's yeah, what I think is cool is that you like actually. If you took it, ass. you took it like twice as far as it needed to go. Like, why would this person lie on this website? Which, what about this? Like, those, why would you lie about Wheel of Seeing Wheel of Time on some obscure website about nudity? Like that that I probably oh. has like you know it's very from small a website traffic. about nudity. I don't know. That seems like a great time to do it. I mean, have you have you read some of the comments on there? Oh, because I have, and they are very invested in nudity. Well, female nudity course and very disappointed when there is no female nudity but male nudity so well this person seems i don't think they're making it up <laughs> they seem so. disappointed that because they were like the only right. nudity i recall is from one of the male leads that's, that's like, why that's why i buy it honestly <laughs> that's yeah that's what i'm saying that's why i buy it like why would they well i don't know it just seems like a weird it seems like a very specific answer to a question on a website that has nothing to do with wheel of time for somebody to, like be making it up <laughs> Just, just just imagine this guy perusing this website and being like, hey, there's a Wheel of Time story. I just recently saw those episodes. Well, I'm going to post something about it. I don't know. Just a, <laughs> what a weird congruent. Um, wait, wait, before you before you mentioned this, was the comment there when you posted the story? 
Okay, so the yes. comment was already there before big news was made about it. Oh, yeah, so it was yeah. the original posting on the website was like at the end of April, I think, and that comment was around the same time, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, so I, I'm just imagining all of the uh, all of the things would have to come into place for this moment to happen to get this from this <laughs> comment from this person. <laughs> That's true. If you posted this, you're right, Sarah. So you posted this, and then a lot of real time people went to the site and then started commenting on it. Then I guess, yeah. I don't know. I tr- Honestly, I I'm this. I'm incredibly curious how this <laughs> site, which we have reached out to them, by the way, multiple times, and they never responded, which, come on, guys, message us back. <laughs> um, but I don't know how they're finding these. I don't know if they're, they clearly have some kind of way to search for casting calls, because they were the first place to report the Eliza and Nady code names for Egwene and Nynaeve. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Recap. Okay. Like way back in early 2019. Maybe they're co- um, connected to the show. Somehow. So I think they have, right. I think they have access to some kind of casting website mm. or something. Um, and I don't know, like if they're filtering by nudity required, I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> I'm not in the industry, but they you, apparently yeah, you... only seem to post stuff that has to do with that. So I don't know. No matter, I guess we can no assume that Elaine's going to get naked. <laughs> well, well, you take that. baths every freaking <laughs> for the whole back half of the series. But like, um, I, w- I would say no matter how dedicated and obsessive that you think you are or that any of us think that we are, no one is more dedicated or obsessive than people who want to see nudity. Like, <laughs> that's their, like It's like they're spending their entire life. That's what they're looking for. So, <laughs> um, well, That's a good point. Tom. And more power to them. That's, that's a more very power good to point them. there. All right, Jay Dizzle knows what he wants. And he's working for it. And I yeah, I appreciate it. No, it's B Jizzle. <laughs> oh, B Jizzle. But B Sorry. Jizzle wasn't the person who responded. B Jizzle was the person no, I, who asked the question. Yeah, he's he's putting out those, you know, those penetrating questions. <laughs> penetrating. To get the information. I didn't mean it like that, but your ass, fine. No, do you think that it's like B Jizzle, like bedazzled? Like that it's he's not just there's bejiz- no D at the end. It's not I understand, bejizzled. but do you think that... Bejizzled? Yeah, but he's that like, it's, present, it's, it's present perfect. But, like, he's bejizzling things. Well, and... it's two E's, too. It's like a B, like a bumblebee. <laughs> oh, bumblebee that's totally bumblebee is jizzling? Different. Probably, I'm going to guess probably because B-E jizzle was probably already taken. <laughs> I just love that we spent like ten minutes of this disgusting. He's, he's name. Like, the perfect name. No. What is that? There's, that's like from a show or something. Like like when they that somebody talks about their screen name and it's like it's a stupid screen name, but it's like the screen name like twenty five, and then somebody like ponders. He's like that means like twenty four other idiots took that name. That like twenty. Like Roar said, the grossest timeline. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh that's a God. good. Uh, that's a good oh. comment. <laughs> Sorry, we're letting off steam. All right, what else you got? We're excited. All right, it's been a long so year. something that we haven't talked about yet, but I know I think you talked about a little bit, Matt, on on last Saturday. Is uh, there was a uh, Prime Video Germany Twitter account tweeted the Moraine teaser, um, although it was a bit of a different version of the Moraine teaser than we had already seen. Um, it was a lot wider of a shot. You got to see a lot more of uh, Rosamund Pike and her costume, and you got to see what was going on in the background. Um, the the actual quote from the tweet was, and I don't speak German, so this is Google Translate. Uh, what about the women in this tower? Hashtag Wheel of Time. The new Amazon original series will be available soon at Prime Video. By the way, they tagged Rosamund Pike in it, but it was not, wasn't Rosamund Pike's yeah. Twitter account. It was some sort of fan account. Yeah. Which right, right off the bat, yeah, <laughs> which right off the bat was like... Come on, people. You work for Amazon. Can you get that right? Um, so I know, Matt, you've gone into this at length. So I know you'd love to want to talk about this some more. <laughs> um, so. I want to call out that thing that the caller, the, our German fan that called in and said the word they used in German soon was like a word that is used when something's actually coming out soon. You know, like he was saying, like within the next two, you know, two or three months kind of soon and not six months from now, they wouldn't use that word apparently. So I was like, Mm -hmm. and that's when people started kind of riffing on this idea of like, wow, maybe we're getting something early. And then the German account took down the post. So then it was like, (laughs) 
maybe soon was meant uh, for a different time. You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, I do have the video, so I'm going to show it real quick here in case anybody, because they did take it down. So some people either might not have saw it or only got to see it once. So let me show it real quick for uh, the people watching us right now. Do not underestimate the women in this tower. So there you go. That was the video. <laughs> Um, six so seconds quick, done. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's start. Let's start with the clothes. All right. So we see a lot more of Rosamund Pike's out, uh, costume. I was gonna say outfit, whatever outfit costume. She's wearing a. It looks like some sort of jacket with buttons, and she's got sleeves. It doesn't look really so much like a dress. Um, anyone have want to start off with that? Any thoughts on that, Jen? What's your first thoughts on that costume? Um, I thought it was strange when I first saw it. But I am going to call it, I'm saying this before we went live, um, I think Katie Sadai posted on her Instagram about how it's a riding jacket and she had all these references and resources that it looked so that to me, that kind of sold me on the jacket because at first it did look a little odd and not like we just pictured or I pictured Maureen's just wearing a dress and uh, I don't know if she's the one who posted something about the divided riding skirt is actually like pants supposed to look like that I, I i don't know i've always pictured that just like the slits in a different position so when you got on the horse it still covered your legs but apparently it's like palazzo pants kind of like really big pants is. really big oh, like, like wide-legged like pants pants. yeah like, yeah like mc hammer pants right right <laughs> so it's like a skirt but it's not a skirt it's pants and they're div literally divided yes the riding but it's so it's pants which uh, there were, I don't know if she's the same person who wrote that too, but um, so that's kind of what that is, which they do. Uh, everyone's wearing skirts divided for riding. So mm -hmm. I guess everyone's wearing pants. I like my but then favorite. they talk about men wearing breeches. Men's and pants. that's weird. Oh, so it's, those right. are men's pants. Okay. Yeah, These like are tight, women's tight pants. men's pants. Ladies' pants. Okay. Yeah, they're still skirt ish. You they're know, voluminous. They're yeah. Yes. Yeah, um, I, I like the divided skirts were, yeah, basically a skirt skirt just with two legs <laughs> yeah, I, I never pictured it like so that. i mean not like, like tight with... not like tight pants like men is supposedly mm -hmm. wearing all the time but right. show off her so when you're like whatever. standing still you could it mistake like it for dress, a dress yeah, right. but then yeah. when you get on the horse it's which makes sense it did look yeah i was a little caught off guard i think too i think somebody i remember somebody put a hashtag one power suit uh, yeah, that's yeah, that that was Skeeterish, yeah. <laughs> that was Skeeterish did that. I was going to steal it, Joe, but you just gave him credit ahead of time. Uh, yeah, I mean, I definitely I thought she was I wearing like a. Uh, <laughs> I, I, she, it, my first instinct was that she was wearing a blazer, like you know that she looked like she was like going to a meeting, um, and I I appreciated Katie Sedai, and I told her that you know, uh, I told her that I, I I shouted out to her because she like helped settle me down a little bit. Um, <laughs> And that's kind of cool. I mean, we were riffing, was it last week, two weeks ago, whatever it was, about how, like, you know, that they're in a, they're in a state of dishevelment because they were, like, yeah. getting ready for bed, you know? Oh, yes. And, um, you know, maybe that's the case. Maybe she's just like, it's cold out. I'm just going to throw on what I have, you know, or something like that. But it, it's a kind of, it, 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 it's a very formalized look for, like, the middle of what looks like a battle. I don't know. Yeah, I, I would... mean, obviously, she just got out of her bath with Lan. And, you know, <laughs> but lucky she's dressed at all. Her, her robe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is what, I think I said this on the show. I I didn't react immediately to the clothing because I didn't really care about the clothing. <laughs> like, in other words, uh, that's never made a difference to me. In other words, Moraine was not in my head. Like, I, I wasn't always seeing her, like, dressed a certain way. Mm hmm uh, I know how they describe it. Um, obviously, you get the cup, the book cover, and that kind of dominated my brain. You know, as far as like she was always in that every day, in, <laughs> in, in perpetuity for like forever until we, you know. So I guess when I saw it, I just uh, the clothing just never was like a thing. You know, I guess people were not happy that I didn't have like a strong reaction against the clothing. I'm just like, this isn't the part that matters to I me. I mean, now. I'm kind of the same way. I considering how much Robert Jordan described clothing, I. They're basically all just 
blurs. Yeah, in my <laughs> right, right. Head. I just don't really have a strong mental image for anybody. Like the, I want the Kisiera thing to be there, the Hidori, yes. you know, and we know that it's going to be there. I guess I just I have no problem with them taking kind of like a realistic <laughs> view of this of like uh, why would they be traveling in this really really amazingly you know what what does, what does she want to make Lan always have to defend her at all times because they look like rich people traveling to the country you know yeah, and right. like it just. I have no problem with them kind of. And again, we don't know what the, it looked like when she got to the town. I guess it was like five seconds and I'm like, I don't know. Let's wait until I get, I can yeah. actually see this outfit. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, I have, I have no problem with them innovating on fashion. Uh, if this makes sense, we never believed it was gonna be a word for word thing mm -hmm. as in we were told it wasn't going to be. So right. why would we believe it was be a word to word dress thing? If it wasn't going to be a word to word anything else adaptation, Probably, so maybe because Jordan you know. spent so much time on it. <laughs> no, but he he spent so much time on all of his writing. It's like yeah. if they're gonna if they're gonna change the if they're gonna change bigger things. I can't believe this is what Brandon meant. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it was the dress. It was the dress. It just killed me. The, the dressing blazer. killed me. Yeah. Like I, I get it. Jordan cared about the the fashion side of this, and so the fact that they care about the fashion, as long as they care about the fashion. I don't care what they do with the fashion. In other words, as long as they make it a point of, yes, we're going to have distinct things that you're going to recognize. And, you know, certain cultures are going to have dressing kind of habits and certain whatever, as long as that exists and they take care with it, I don't care. Mm -hmm. uh, if they just ignored it altogether and we're just like, who cares? Just put them in anything. Yeah. That to me would be annoying. I think I'd, I'd be bothered by that. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't bother me. It just was. It just st stood out. I think, and I, I don't know. I guess people, those people who complained about it, I guess have been, probably have been complaining about everything that they've got. Sure. Um, but yeah, I'd I'd love. This is like a behind the scenes thing. I want to know. I want to hear all about like what they like the decisions and what may, led them to like do these costumes certain ways. I think that'll be a lot uh, really interesting, especially since we got to talk to you know um, uh, Jennifer McGrew who did Flight from the Shadow and hear all the thought process behind the costumes for that. Um, yeah, that I mean, really. Did um, Rafe say in one of his Q and A's that you know the costume department had made like a you know a map of the world and planned out how they were going to do all the costumes from mm -hmm. the different places, and I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I want to see that. Uh, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> MK brought up this, uh, you know, because I, I, I've seen this, uh, I've seen a lot of fans bring this up, which is they they don't want a modern twist to the clothing because maybe it feels too, I don't know why I'm saying maybe it, I'm guessing it's because it feels too much like it's today mm -hmm. but again I, I don't mind them mixing modern the the modern look with a you know our past and kind of putting together something that looks like a mix of the two I think that fits really well within the themes of the books mm -hmm. so I have no problem with this idea that they're innovating on it and we're getting a little bit of both I just don't want this to look like it did come straight out of what we know to be our 17th hundred to eighteen hundreds period. I don't want it to look like yeah. that because it feels then like you can pin this to being, oh, this was just a couple hundred years ago and it happened here. And that's not how the books are set up. So Yeah. That's that's interesting too, because I imagine they're going to obviously pull from historical, you know, costume and dress, but then they have to kind of twist it and make it almost like a you know, I guess put a fantasy twist on it or just like some sort of twist on it to make it a little bit more like, no, you're right. like you said, Matt, it's, this is not from this, you know, Victorian England. This is something different than that. Well, so. and people are misquoting Jordan about this. He didn't say this is the, the uh, 17th century. He didn't say this is the 17th century. He said, if you wanted to have a concept of the type of time period where the events of this is happening for our understanding of it, think 17th century with gunpowder or something like that. Yeah, but like the technological advancement wise. He, he wanted like, you right, to have right. a have a frame of mind, but he didn't say this is actually happening in the 17th century just a couple hundred years ago. And I, I feel like people are misquoting that piece of it mm -hmm. and misconceiving what he is actually trying to get you to think of, which is, yes, like like you said, from a technology standpoint, this is the kind of thing I was going for. So... All right. Um, so moving on from the costume, we got some more background, right? We didn't have just a giant close up of Maureen's face. We got to see what was going on in the background. Um, does anyone here not think it was Emmons Field <laughs> in the background? I think uh, Matt, you Taylor did like an amazing <laughs> job of like 
using the uh, the wine spring uh, video footage teaser that they gave us and kind of matching it up to this one and it, it matched perfectly. And I, I even looked at like the concept art, remember that they had released a yep. lemons field with the wine spring in the background and it, and it matches up perfectly to that. I, I don't know if anybody thinks otherwise. Yep. Yeah, I don't. After that, I was like, "Yeah, that's." <laughs> after after we did that, I was like, "Yeah, this is it." <laughs> Even like and I like how she has her, her arms are out. It almost feels like she's standing in front of it. <laughs> like like yeah, like you can almost get a perspective look at it. So yeah, I, I, you could almost guess how far she was away from it with that with that view. So, yeah. um, and then what we see in the background was probably the most exciting thing. I think was <laughs> there was appeared to be a trollic in the background, hopping around. Weird. I mean, the, the Trolloc Tango. Yeah, the Trolloc <laughs> Tango. So I've I've seen a lot of people. I think even somebody might have posted on our Discord, like reversed the image, the video, and it made more. It like the Trolloc movement looked more natural. I I don't know. Does anybody have any thoughts on that? Like, is that is that Trolloc moving strange to anybody else? And do they think it's like some weirdness of the editing that they did? Yeah, I, I watched it backwards, and I think it. I don't, maybe it's just a reverse shot for some reason. Like the whole, um, I think they, they just reversed, reversed it because the they trollic. wanted to like yeah. zoom in on Maureen instead of the other way around or yeah, whichever so way just... it was. Now I can't remember which was the original way. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> we can't, we, nobody will see this trollic. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're like, ha. what's that underneath her arm? Enhance. So, Enhance. Yeah, I mean, the Trolloc looked like it wasn't wearing any armor on it, which was like the first thing that I noticed. It was like it was a furry. It was like, you know, very right. furry. It was just like a beast. Yeah. I love the Chewbacca comments. Yes, yes. <laughs> or the Harry, the Harry and the Hendersons or whatever. Aww, I love that movie. Yeah, oh, yeah. I remember that from when I was a kid. Tom, what do you think about that? Trolloc with no armor on. Yeah, well, I'll say this. The first thing I thought about it was like, the first thing I thought when I saw it was this shouldn't have been released. That Trolloc is not fully rendered. Um, that I don't think the SFX are done on that sh shot. Uh, and that's why they didn't put them in, in part, right? It, obviously, you also want to focus on, on, on just Roseman Pike. But I don't think it's done. Uh, and I think that's part of the reason why its motion is looks awkward. Um, I, I'm trying to... I'm trying to think over the last few couple of days about whether I'm cool with the fact that like maybe they're just gonna change this so that Trollocs don't wear armor and that they're they're more just like beasts than they like trained beasts than they are uh like these kind of soldiers. So well, yeah. Yeah, well I mean they can still be soldiers, but they're not like there's no there's very little humanity to them at all. They don't wear clothes, they don't need to wear armor, they're just creatures that are out there and 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 thinking that maybe they'll do that as a way to differentiate them from orcs you know uh from like the lord of the rings where orcs were soldiers and they wore armor and they had helms and they mm -hmm. whatever and these are just like creatures that work for evil and they're soldiers and they follow orders and they do things but they're just like you know they're just like animals that that are like human hybrids and that's it mm -hmm. and like make that make that a visual change so i'm 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 not opposed to that either. I don't think that Trolloc, to, to Matt's earlier point, Trolloc armor is not something that is a make or break for me. I'm a show. little disappointed that they weren't wearing armor. I would think too, like the armor would help cover, like if that's practical effects, if that's somebody in a costume, I would think the armor would help like cover up some of the costume and, you know, right. you want to do armor or something like that. I'm, I'm assuming my, my guess would be, that there's some diversity here of, you know, how intelligent some of these and <laughs> Trollocs are, how how lacking in intelligence some are, and can you imagine like a, <laughs> somebody like line up, you put your, you know, like it's like you're trying to like a, a father, a father, or parent with its children, like put your armor on, you know, I'm sure there's like there's gonna be a mix of that's what I imagine is happening here is we're, we're gonna get some with armor, some without. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna look like an army. You know, the Trollocs, right. at least I never saw them that way. Like, uh, like you just brought them up, like they're well formed lines and they're all like armored and helmed and they're like doing the Spartan, you know, uh, stuff <laughs> like, <Right>. like <laughs> otherwise they're just unbeatable at that point. Like a, a really well-trained army of Trollocs would be terrifying and 
you know, unbeatable. Yeah, I mean, the Trollocs are basically cannon fodder. Yeah. So it never really made sense to me. Again, now that I think about it, I don't really know if I pictured them with armor or not. Again, blurry mental images and stuff. But, I mean, why would they spend all the time and resources to make all that Trolloc armor? I mean, there's how many hundreds of thousands of Trollocs? <laughs> Like, I imagine I they know. would pick it up the I imagine them picking up the armor and just pulling it off the dead bodies and right, using right. it. Or does Narg have armor? I think they're just leather around armor, themselves though. or something. But does Narg have armor? I don't know. I could swear. I mean, Rand that... just like uses a sword. I mean, maybe you could just say he pierced the armor, but yeah, well, it could be like leather or like a studded. I'm getting to like leather. It could be a studded yeah. leather armor or you know... right. <laughs> it's got an AC of 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 only. <laughs> I guess leather or studded. Um, so um. It, it's I could see them doing something like similar to that where it's like they're in a variety of armors from different cultures as they kill people they just take whatever armor that they can fit <laughs> Wait, on they can't fit so they're like, like nine feet tall they right don't, right they, they, so like <laughs> you'll see them. like you'll see like you know like somebody may have just like gauntlets or shoulder or a shoulder piece or something like that and like if somebody's got a goat head he can't wear a helm because he's got horns and like well, I can see that being like a very yeah. being a very motley collection of like armored pieces and some people may not have any and some people may have more or whatever you know people yeah. trollocs whatever um trollocs are people mm. <laughs> they're half people uh, <laughs> nah, i don't think half so. men are, I mean, I'm half also men are half people if they're gonna yeah. if they're gonna lean in at all to the you know the first book it talks about like the different trollic bands and stuff and then yes. we just never hear about that yeah. again <laughs> and maybe this is like the nudist band of trollic <laughs> we have right they have like the daimon and the uh they're all like you know plays on words oh god ghoul and devil and stuff yeah, like yeah. Or, yeah exactly yeah. by season two they'll all have armor and then everyone will complain <laughs> like they're not wearing armor they like orcs then we're going to get full yeah. frontal trollic nudity. <laughs> oh, they better be wearing point. something. They better have little, like, you know, maybe it was a skirts trollic. on or maybe whatever. Maybe it was a trollic getting into the bath. Getting with, in the bath. With with the I'm here. It was not. Uh, <laughs> <Nard. Nard. laughs> Instead of going to Rand's house, he, he shows up in the wine spring in the bath. With <laughs> That's a big change. <laughs> big change. That, that was the big change. <laughs> Brandon Brand, was, uh, Brand was not happy about. Um. I'm starting to realize that I didn't see these books as vividly as some. Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> Trolloc and armor, never cared about that one either. Uh, My brain was just like. Uh, I always I pictured them yeah. wearing armor, and I think it's just they're described yeah. as wearing I'm armor. Sure, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. I just My brain is just, I, it was one of the things that, like, I didn't spend a lot of mental effort to kind yeah. of, like, try to conceive of the Trolloc. It was like this big monster. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that was the, that was what stood out to me the most out of out of this video. It wasn't her costume. Like I noticed yeah. her costume, and it did seem, you know, I wasn't like, oh, this is horrible. It just seemed weird that she was wearing like a jacket kind of deal. But the the trollic being like basically naked and just fur that stood out to me, which was I thought was kind of weird. Um, but then we see I mean, somebody else come in, right? A person comes into picture <laughs> or half half into frame. I mean, I'm also oh, curious if that. maybe they're going to have a lot of differences. Just the general trollic appearance i mean i know that there is already in the books like they have you know goat heads and bird mm. heads and stuff but i mean maybe some are going to appear a lot more humanoid than others and maybe those ones will have armor i don't know yeah yeah that's what i was thinking i was like maybe some will have armor and some won't but i guess we'll find out we'll have to waffle right waffle it yeah <laughs> Um, but yeah, so there was another person. So if you look, Jen, in the background where that where the trollic is, something like somebody comes into like half, you know, like maybe halfway, three quarters way onto the screen. It looks like they're fighting the trollic. Oh, okay. I don't, I can't tell who it is. I heard people say it's Lan and Daniel Henney, but I don't know. I couldn't tell. Does anybody here have any uh, thoughts on Is there anybody else in the town that's going to be fighting a Trolloc? Like, well, everyone the, was fighting Trollocs. I mean, with like a sword? It, and like, it, I didn't remember. Really? I don't know if there was a sword. It could have been Mistress Luhan with the frying pan for all we know. Well, there's the reason why we, I think the reason why we came out of the, the live show covering this, thinking it was Lan, was there's light that reflects off of what looks like, mm -hmm. like a belt um, that looks like that belt could be Land's belt that we, I thought we see his belt in, in that like land teaser first okay. look. So because of that um, and because the movement seemed a bit 
more professional <laughs> from a fighting perspective than than what you would imagine a villager <laughs> it's like yeah, but... like it seemed like there was purpose to the movements but uh you know to tom's point the more and more i stare at it it does feel like you know it might actually be not be practical effects here it might be just a cgi version of this that yeah is maybe not fully complete you know <laughs> it's weird to think that they would have german prime video account would have released something that somebody didn't think was complete um at some point but yeah that's the question right did did they did somebody send them the wrong file <laughs> did they you know? sure yeah <laughs> but like why would why would the german prime video be the only one to like <laughs> release that too like everything else was kind of synced up like things were like released at the same time were there other right, when the Rose... video accounts like from other countries that we saw released? yeah when when um when the original moraine trailer went it went across like everyone released it all the different um, language released. maybe it's a, something um, about the time difference or something i love the were idea they, there, that were it was they a date three thing. weeks behind <laughs> yes, it was a time, yes i love the idea that somebody on the on the live stream posed the idea that they switched the dates because of the way that american oh, dates uh, so imagine uh, you are setting up like future tweets or whatever you're automating your social media mm. and you get an asset in and someone's responsible for taking that and translating it into uh one of those kind of automated whatever uh, tools and they put in you know whatever five eight versus eight five uh. <laughs> and so and they were told they could release this and it was just going to be like coming soon you know uh, which it sounds like this was and this was going to be one of those kind of pieces i love that idea that it was just like an so, accidental date switch so this so. was so let's pretend let's go down that rabbit hole let's pretend this was supposed to be released on august 5th was it right. eight? Was it five? Was it May eighth? I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, it was May eighth. Yeah. It was Saturday. Okay. That just passed. Yeah. So let's say so it August was 5th. August fifth. Okay. It's coming soon, and soon means, like you said, Matt. You know, the German translation means within the next like couple of months. That means we're gonna yeah. get something by to September uh, to October, November. Yeah. So that would suggest October, sometime, November. yeah, like November, sometime between October, and November, if the soon thing was it translated correctly, and you do the date swap theory. So that's my favorite. Because they took it down. If they hadn't taken it down, different theories. But they took it down. <laughs> Why would it have posted on one social media account? It doesn't make any sense. Why would this, this be the one they use? I would imagine we would get a trailer then between now and then. Because this isn't like a trailer thing. This is just like a, this is probably a piece of the trailer then. You know, so you, uh, that's my theory, right? Like this is a chunk of the trailer in an automated system, mistakenly sent three months early because someone date swapped it. And yeah, this means we'll get something in that October, November timeframe. Mm -hmm. Which I think uh, jives, I'm sticking to it. That drives with uh, I think John from What Up's been saying like uh, Black Friday. Black Friday is when the show's going to come out for a oh while. He's been talking. Oh, that would about be that. cool. Um, I I, that... I just assumed it was like a not like it wasn't the finished product. Like it was they were they had working on the the teaser and there were probably a few different versions of it until they got to the final one that we saw and like this was like a one that they didn't they weren't going to release and they just accidentally you know, put the wrong file out there. It was for a while. That's possible. Too. It was for a yeah. while, right? A good it was up there a long time. Yeah. It was a good 24 hours. There were a lot of comments and retweets on that, <laughs> on that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I felt it was weird. Cause I, yeah, I think it was seven hours after it actually launched that I saw it for the first time. <laughs> so, uh, which I actually, I wasn't that disappointed because I couldn't have gone live seven hours before that. <laughs> like, it gave me like, okay, could give us some time and we'll go live. But yeah, I can't imagine it coming out Friday morning. That would have changed my schedule. Oh boy. Or Saturday morning, I should say. This has been great though. It's been, uh, it's, it's, I can't, it's been great. Some of the stuff they've accidentally done or at least or so. <laughs> um, I mean, there's been so many cases of that happening and, various different shows and stuff like and it's always you know I think it's hbo <clears throat> india that accidentally released you know some of the game of thrones episodes early and stuff like that no and, way really oh i remember that yeah yeah it was back in like <sighs> season four or something like oh that God. and like the first four episodes accidentally got put online <sighs> early and or just a few months ago i think it was i think it actually was in germany netflix germany posted the trailer for shadow and bone early when they weren't supposed oh, to God. so i mean this is not <laughs> an unusual thing yeah. so wow so i saw somebody bring up prime day in chat oh yeah prime day amazon typically has prime day around then uh 
yeah so prime day would be an interesting one because this is an amazon thing right um i'm trying i was trying to look up to see when prime day is this year i don't know if it's officially announced so but you know maybe that would uh from a timing perspective make sense i'm i'm still pulling out for late september but i don't know we'll find out i was just thinking too about like you know we had a um we had a david buckley doing music and then he mysteriously how to leave you know we no one really knows why we think maybe it was just scheduling issues because of the delay but that we never got any announcement or clear um idea of who replaced him or if anybody replaced him i mean, imagine they found somebody but uh, we never heard anything about that so yeah i kind of wonder uh, i thought the news was that i thought wasn't there something that he and i'm trying to remember what was did did what series did you do something recently on that i can't remember he I'm was to, like, re-added and... to IMDb a couple weeks okay. ago, and then he disappeared a few days later. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. I mean, I think that unless it was just an error, I think it's possible that maybe they are keeping some of the stuff that he had already done, and gotcha. so he's going to get credited for it anyway. But that would make sense. I don't yeah. know. I mean, I do know that with IMDb, you actually have to provide some kind of proof to back up your claim when you're trying to add somebody. Oh, really? Um, okay. So. Um, I'm assuming there was something that was attached to it, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So we I want get... to find that composer. <sighs> We're yeah. looking. We did get um, we did get another trailer this week too. By the way, I don't know if anybody knows, but Narg put out his own version of the oh, trailer. God. <laughs> it was much longer than any of the Wheel of Time trailers we got. Even when you combine them all together, it was much longer. Um. And he had put in, a, you know, he put in all the clips, like the teaser clips, but he also put in a lot of the the photos that he had uncovered over the over the last year and a half. And there were two two pictures in there that I noticed that I had I don't recall seeing before, and I kind of wanted to call them out. And I'll I'll pull them up here for the people watching to see. Um, so the first one is the man with, with the camel. <laughs> if if you guys if you guys have seen this photo, and the strange so the background is very familiar right i think narc had released photos yeah. of this recently um of the background of like uh with the windows and we think you know it's either camelin or tarvalon i think a lot of people thought and i think john from what up said that it was tarvalon and he was able to confirm that it was so so camel and tarvalon discuss <laughs> Now I have to look up the books and see if we get camels anywhere. <laughs> like on my brain, again, everyone seems to remember more stuff than I do about this. You know what? I do not what remember so. a camel at all. So could the camel back. just be like passing through? So it shows <laughs> like what, what does it that, matter? No, because it's like not native to Tarvalon. It's just like people from different cultures are are visiting yeah, Tarvalon. Gets... So he came with his camel from whatever country has camels. I mean, to me, it just kind of feels like a shortcut to be like, look, camel, exotic. Lots of people are here. Exotic. Yeah. I don't know. It's just a, a woke different... show with camels. <laughs> <laughs> that just Hollywood ruining the show, bringing maybe camels that's in. Like a camel came... Maybe that's telling us that it's Camelin. <laughs> Camelin. 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 Pronouncing it Camelin. Oh, Camelin. There you go. That That's where it got its name from, from its camels. Abundant. It's, the it's white a, camels of this. It's board. rampant camel population. <laughs> it's a big problem in Camelin. All the camels. <laughs> Cam, Camelin. I like it. I like it. I like Camelin. someone said it's Jane Farshrider. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is that a camel from Shara? From his trip over in Shara? Yeah, there's no there. Are, as 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 Fresh Prince of the Raisins said, there are no camels mentioned in the as the word camel in the books. Yeah, I don't there we go. Ruined, camel, yeah. ruined. Once again, yeah, I, it's over. I, <laughs> go ahead, Tom. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I was going to say I don't recall them like describing any animals that could be a camel but like there's horses why aren't like okay there's camels too it's fine like there's no there's no there's nothing about it bothers me i do think you know i, I think sarah might be right and it's just a um like it's kind of a, a visual shorthand for this scene is going to have a bunch of cultures in it right like that uh-oh we've lost jen she's disappeared. Jen. 
It was that camel discussion. Just like, I'm out. Sick of the it. show is over. Final straw. <laughs> they're, they're, also, they're also just going to do a Prince Ali musical number the in the middle. Straw that broke, the straw that broke the camel's back. I like uh, I like how Shantini said uh, camel lot. Exactly. Uh, for Caitlin. Yeah, that, that works, right? <laughs> Easing the camel. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it was just it's just so like striking. Like so what there's a guy with a camel. What's that? So oh, man, if like Matt the, lets the camels the nine, loose on the, the nine green, camel hitch in now instead of the nine horse hitch. <laughs> oh. Nine camel. I mean it's like interesting. It. Yeah. They're and, clearly <laughs> ruining everything. I yeah, I don't remember any <laughs> I don't remember any strange animals described as a camel in there. There was uh one other picture um too that struck st- stuck out to me and I'll show that here. Um, it's, it's a woman, it's the back of a woman's head. It appears she has a braid, dark hair and they're indoors. There's a candle and there's somebody very blurry in the background. I know you guys, you guys can't see it. The people who are watching can see it, but if you can recall this image from the NARG trailer, any thoughts on who these people are? Cause I don't remember seeing this before. I don't remember that one. <laughs> Oh yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is this the one with uh, Nynaeve? No, that it's one not that no. one. You're okay. thinking of the one with her and Marcus, and it. Yeah, I and think then so. You see, like the soldiers yeah. in the background, which looks like the Shinarans. There's another one. Um, it's. I, I just checked over. It's very blurry. It it's is very, very difficult to see. Um, yeah, I know it, the the braid does not necessarily. Even though I don't believe I've seen any photos of Nynaeve's braid from the back, it doesn't look like Nynaeve's braid. No. Right? So people think it might be um, it Egg might be Egwene. Yeah. I don't know where it is, though. It's very, it's so blurry, it's tough to see. There's candles there. That's all I know. Yeah. Yeah, I hadn't seen that one before. I don't know. Sarah, have you seen... Do you know what I'm talking about, even though you can't see it? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. And I, yeah, I have no idea. I mean, it could be just random braided haired extra 72. I don't know. <laughs> Kiki already saying it looks like Maddie's head. That's what I thought too when I first saw it. It does look more like, because we had, you know, those pictures of her in the the Faldara set from a while back. Yes. And it does look more like you know, the top half of that braid, but I don't know. And there's like somebody in the background too, blurry in the background as well. I I don't know. It looks like, it looks like somebody that could have reddish hair. Obviously a Trolloc. <laughs> it's, it's obviously a Trolloc. Um, oh man. Yeah, I don't know. That was another one that I wanted to point out that I had never seen before. So I'm not really sure what that is or what the scene could even be, but. Um, Narg had put all together a lot of stuff. I think most of the stuff we had seen already. I don't know if there was really that much new stuff, but those are two things that I noticed that I hadn't seen already. But um, thank you, Narg, for putting that trailer together. It was very good. Mm-hmm. I wonder what Jen is. I have to try to see if she's okay. I was like, Taylor, Taylor threw together a trailer too. I love that. That's one. true. Yes, it, it was very good. <laughs> it, um, yeah, no, it was it was really good. It was I feel bad because like that's a different it's a different thing. Like Narg's trailer, which was cool, was like I feel like almost tongue in cheek, like just a way to get right, right, right. Like his sneaky things out there. Uh, he's a very he's a very sneaky trollic. Uh, and um, yeah, but Taylor, Taylor's I think was very well done and very much like what a trailer would probably look like. Yeah, I thought somebody I think somebody said in the comments like this might not be too far. <laughs> so right, right. Underwhelming now, you know. Uh, yeah, I like, oh, I, I already saw that. I... <laughs> exactly. So, okay. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know where. I, hopefully, Jen's. A, you know. She said, "I saw Jen in chat." Okay. <laughs> she said, uh, oh, "I got kicked out of Zoom." There you go. Uh, yeah, the internet out, dropped so out. Hopefully, she can come back in and join. Way to go, us. Joe! Kicking around. I didn't Zoom. do anything. No, she lost. <laughs> she lost internet. Uh, she just messaged. Uh, it was the camel. The camel. It was the guy. camel. <laughs> oh, no. It just tripped the wire. So um, hopefully she can get back in. She's lying. She says she can't get back into Zoom. Oh no, oh, that's weird. Oh, she's she's been banned from Zoom. Maybe 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 Alexa 
heard her talking. I am pressing. It was all it was all the mentions of full frontal. (laughs) (laughs) She's gonna try to find those shots. She's hunting down Bejizzle and trying to find all of that stuff so she can uh, watch the full frontal of land. Yeah, I accidentally, oh people God. are noticing that I accidentally pressed the button again and brought on the intro. I'm sorry. I don't know what button it is that's doing that, but that's happening. So sorry. <laughs> apologize for you. I don't know what button Joe I'm Joe needs to delete doing. the hotkey for that teaser. Yeah, there's clearly a hotkey that I'm pressing. I don't know. <laughs> it's. <laughs> Why are you pressing anything? I was typing in the chat, you know, and I hit enter and then it switched for some reason. So I have to, uh, you know, we don't live stream a lot on, you know, YouTube, all right? People give me a break. Which was, what, what did you end up showing the actual... Uh, the table read is that what you showed or was it different no it was i think it was our intro thing again so people are just going to see all kinds of things flashing on the screen and i apologize for that it's gonna be it's gonna be be the secret last frame in fight club you're gonna show next oh no that's not the last (laughs) i know it's not the last no i'm talking about what's placed in right before the movie is over is that is that brad pitt's penis i don't know whose penis it is but it is a (laughs) it is a penis yes it's a penis Uh, Oh, did I miss that? Shoot. It's it's <laughs> it's referenced like earlier on where they're talking about like one of Tyler's jobs is like a projectionist and he would put like, like oh, I got the male nudity in like children's <laughs> movies. And then like oh. as the movie's ending, like where you see all the that's buildings terrible. coming down, there's just like a quick flash and that's what it is. They do that throughout the movie, by the way. But you know, oh, I didn't know images. that. Yeah, there's other images flash throughout the movie when they do that. Um I don't want to end the stream without Jen, so I want to give her some time to get back here, so at least we can, you know, we can so properly I'll, I'll, up. Go ahead, Tom. Yeah, I'll say one thing. So, um, John from What Up put out a video uh, this this past week where he was talking about how he uh, has seen some, I guess, um, some art that was used for inspiration to do some of the set designs and things of that nature. And in that video, he has said that he has seen pictures from the set that is the ways in in season one and i have said in the show uh multiple times that i don't think you're there the ways exist in the show and so that i thought that they were going to kind of combine way gates and portal stones and just like almost be like a teleporter pad or whatever um but i have said that i hoped i was wrong and apparently i am so i am officially i guess uh eating a little bit of crow uh right now because the ways apparently are going to be on the show. And if you watch uh, John's video, if you haven't watched it, go out and watch it. It's cool. And it's not that long. And it's... Oh, look. It's Dan. Yeah. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Welcome back, Jen. What I miss? Yeah. You missed more dong talk. Oh. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh. And anyway, check that out. And you'll get very excited about like what the reference art was for the ways. I think it looks very, very cool. So. Yeah, so I think, and he, John didn't come out and say it, but he said, uh, you know, a sneaky Trollic tipped him off onto some SFX website where they were able to, where he was able to find like a lot of uh, artwork that I guess they were using for inspiration for things in the Wheel of Time. And there was a lot right. of different images, as Tom mentioned, about the ways. There was some other stuff too, it looked like Waygates possibly. And he even showed like images of like, uh, Sarah, you, you had posted those, uh, uh, what series had posted those trees, those weird looking root trees, like right before filming had shut down for the second time. And he, he had posted a photo, John, uh, John had saw a photo in there that looked similar to that as well. Um, so there was a lot of stuff in there that he was able to pull out of that. Yeah. Um, so that, that's pretty exciting. Uh, and I'm glad to be, I'm glad to be wrong about something else again. It's much happier for me than being wrong about the barbers. Thing. So, um, <laughs> the barbers. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and there we go. Now we're back, Joe, so you can end the show with Jen here. All right. <laughs> um, before before we end, I just want to ask if anyone has any last thoughts about this rap, um, any feelings they wanted to share. Share your feelings, everybody. This is a safe space. Uh, I don't know, but I have I have cake to celebrate. Oh, oh shoot! Burritos and cake. Oh, man. That's, that's Actually, really the cake good. is leftover birthday cake, but you know it works. That works. Oh, whose birthday was it? It was mine. <gasps> oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday! When was your birthday? Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. Man. That was uh, the tenth, eleventh. 
11th. Oh, happy birthday, Sarah. I was selfishly hoping, you know, maybe we'd get something on that Watt Wednesday <laughs> birthday gift to myself, but oh well. Yeah. I'm, over I'm over it. I'm over it. You got cake. I got That's cake. Enough. It's fine. <laughs> It's good. All right. Yeah, I think I'm just. I, I think generally I'm just excited now. It it, it becomes more real, uh, you know, uh, every day, and I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure how to feel about that. It's always fun, like we've been talking about the show for so long at this point, you know, and now it's like, but the actual show is going to be here, and that's going to change the whole kind of dimension of all of our discussions. There's going to be so many things to talk about, and we'll actually get to get inside of the world that they're creating, and talk about those things now and. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just really pumped for it. Like this is the rumor, rumor crushing has begun, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it's oh my god, it's so close. I mean, we haven't. So we noted last week that we ha since, um, you know, he who tweets with the dawn left, you know, Prime Video. We have not gotten a tweet out of the account since then. So you know, it have they named a successor or are they just gone silent because they're ramping up for maybe a trailer release? Any, any thoughts on that? I think you got you have to learn the terrain. <laughs> so my guess is whoever they've picked is doing a lot of like learning the terrain uh, before they jump in. Is my guess. I don't know, or maybe they haven't. I think I saw somebody mention. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of what it was about that, but yeah, basically that's what I would imagine it is. Is someone's? Uh, they must have picked somebody, or maybe they didn't. Maybe it's. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there isn't a person to call the tweeter of chaos. I don't know. That's right, the tweeter of chaos. I hope we hear something soon. So if you're listening, and you know what? That's like, you know, he who tweets for the dawn used to listen to our show. So <laughs> we're the tweeter of chaos, you know, you better listen to our show. <laughs> or else <laughs> or else Get I, don't, on I, don't, it. I don't I don't know what else. I don't know or else what, but or else or else please listen to or our show. Or else I'll stop talking about it. Yeah, right. please listen to our show. Um, <laughs> I, if you if you are listening to our show you can dm us if you're not allowed to like do anything on the account yeah. yet just let us <laughs> blink know twice. Yeah. yeah just, yeah, blink just, twice. just give us a give, give it the old blinky face uh <laughs> blink twice. yeah just just to let us know to e appease our egos um so uh yeah i don't know i i feel i i think that uh that matt may have the right of it like that if there is somebody that somebody is trying to understand like what the environment is like what the lingo is like like where the touch points are hopefully there was a nice warm handoff where the guys like you know mm -hmm. do this act this way yeah. this is how they respond to or whatever uh because uh he who tweets to the dawn was was good yeah he was the best yeah. i, I want to meet him and shake his hand right <laughs> maybe we'll get to meet him someday um so let's jen i think it's a good time to wrap it up here and as is tradition jen do we have any new patrons to thank we do we have two new patrons tonight so we have joining the heroes of the horn the admiral oh and we also have joining the dreamwalkers joshua kessler so thank you very much to our two new patrons and also as always to all of our patrons Thank you very much. We appreciate your support. Yes, we do. Thank you so much. Um, I want to remind everyone that you can follow us on social media. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, you can also join us over in Discord to continue the conversation there. Um, I did put the links to all of that information in this uh, in the YouTube live stream, so you can check that out there. Um, rate and review us wherever you listen to podcasts. Uh, check out our merchandise. Support us on Patreon, all that great stuff. Um, this is not a podcast episode, so I want to say I would include all the links to all the aforementioned information in the show notes, but there are no show notes. Um, I'll try to, I'll try to update the description of this with some of the links to the information that we talked about, some of the news and stuff like that, that we talked about. Um, yeah, this is a weird ending for us because this is a live stream. You can ask our guests about, you can have them plug their stuff too well, yeah well i was gonna get to that tom come on yeah, sure, not sure, sure. no i just realized though that we are gonna be missing a week of the podcast now yes we did not record we didn't this as record a podcast this. which i'm somewhat happy about because i don't have to edit it 
So for all those of you <laughs> listening to listen to our podcast, there will not be a technically an episode. Really and you will hear this unless you find <laughs> you us should, on YouTube. You should put it out. You put an episode out that's just like the link to the episode. <laughs> yeah, is here. you should. should do that. Yes, you should. So yeah, I will. I will put that because technically we have since we've started back on September, whatever it was, ninth or whatever of 2019, we have not missed a week. I know. So you got to put something out. Yeah, so I'll link them to this. I will literally record uh, 30 seconds yeah. of me saying, we did a live stream. Go check that out. Yeah. Just uh, you <laughs> reading reading the YouTube URL. YouTube.com. Yeah. Oh, you, you should just recap. Just, just do it. You should do a quick, like, five-minute recap of the entire YouTube live stream. Oh, Jen, can we get Dan to do that go. for us? He does the recap. I could, right? yeah. Be... He'll have to listen to it and know anything we're talking about. No, it's better if he doesn't know what we're talking about. <laughs> Um, I want to, yeah, I want to thank Sarah from whatseries.com. Sarah, anything you would like to add, anything exciting coming up that you want to tell us about? Any sneak peeks that we can get of things you guys are working on? Um, <laughs> I will just say that we have something that I think is very exciting coming up soon. Wow. You didn't find like, out. Like soon Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like, like German, German, German soon. German soon? Yeah, we're German soon. <laughs> sooner, sooner than German soon. Wow. <laughs> Imminently. Oh, exciting. Well, how, oh, you can't tell us how soon, huh? Can you give us a little hint? Week soon? T- month soon? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully within the next few days. Oh, okay. Exciting. It's not go Thursday. Back. <laughs> like Wednesday at like 10 31 p.m. That would be exactly. fantastic. Exactly. They're gonna wait just until your live stream goes off the air. Man. Smash the black. Like, exactly. Uh, yeah, I'll just I'll just say we'll we'll try to have something for Matt to discuss on right. Dusty Wheel next week. Nice. Yeah. Like Perfect. It. And yeah, I'd like to thank Matt, the innkeeper from the Dusty Wheel. Matt, what's coming up? What do you have coming up uh next week on the Dusty Wheel? Well, this uh, this Sunday we're doing a watch party, Winter Dragon. Oh. Like Taylor and I, the Dusty Wheel Cut. Ooh. He's gonna nice. sit down with me live, and we're gonna talk through the. <laughs> we're gonna talk through the cut. He's even, he's even. Well, I'm, he has something. He's bringing something to it that'll it'll be fun. It'll be fun. So, he's gonna be on uh, camera. Yeah, he's gonna be on camera with me. We're gonna be talking oh. all about it. So yeah, Taylor. This will be Taylor's second on camera appearance. We're talking about the Dusty Wheel Cut on Twitch. At the Dusty Wheel. And then, yes, uh, Wednesday, we're back talking about theories and the Wheel of Time and lighting the pipe. I won't do any spoilers Ooh. here, but Ooh. we'll be talking Ooh. about all the theories that there are about <laughs> what lighting the pipe is. I love this so. topic. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that'll be Wednesday. Will we get some well-turned calf on Sunday? Uh, n- no. no. No, I don't think so. Go watch it anyway, people. Yeah, <laughs> except for... the uh, yeah the the dusty wheel cut of the, the winter dragon is pretty amazing. So I would definitely encourage everybody to watch that. So, um, so yeah, thanks you thank you guys for coming. This was like a literally like a last minute thing. We were just going to record a regular podcast episode, and then all of a sudden, you know, Sarah and Watt series they tweeted out about the rap. So we were like, we had talked about this in the past, how like we are going to have a rap party. So this is our rap party. We put this together literally last minute. Um, I want to thank everybody who watched. Um, really appreciate that, and thanks to everybody out there for supporting us. So, and I want to say I want to say thanks everybody for listening, but thanks everybody for watching, and you can hear us maybe next.